Part two of this video will show how to retrieve previously recorded alarm and fault logs in the Eaton MMX drive which is used on the Atom Simplex pump system. As you can see here of my test drive sitting on my chair, I have the drive in ready mode. It's not running a motor. I do not have any motor connected to the outputs, but it is sitting here ready. To view the previously recorded log, simply press the back reset button until the leftmost triangle starts flashing. Then press the down arrow key until you get the triangle to point to FLT, which stands for fault. Press the OK button. And here you see F1 space 51. Well, this means F1 is the most recent fault. 51 is the fault code, and this is the most important, as it is what we need to reference back to the Eaton book to know exactly why the drive is faulting out. If we press the up arrow key, we can view other previously recorded faults. 2, meaning this is the second most recent recorded fault. It is also a code of 51. And likewise, 3. If there are no fault codes recorded in the drive, it shows 0, 0. And the Eaton MMX has the ability to record up to 9 actual alarm or fault codes. And if you keep pressing up, you'll notice it eventually repeats back at 1. In each case, if you press the OK button, you can see some additional data of the drive. Uh, D standing for the days unit, as in how long ago the the fault was recorded. In this case it's showing zero because I have a new drive right out of the box with no power up time on it. If you press the down arrow key it'll show you how many hours ago the fault occurred and pressing it down once more will show you how many minutes the drive was in the fault. So this can be very useful for determining when a fault actually was experienced. And likewise, if you press the OK button again, you can do the same thing by viewing the other fault codes additional parameters by pressing the OK button and viewing them. Notice fault 2 was recorded at 27 minutes of power on time. And additionally, if I scroll to the third most recent fault, we should expect that it should be less than 27 minutes. And it is, 21 minutes to be exact. Uh, to get back out of this screen and to get the drive back into normal mode operation, simply press the back reset button again until the triangle flashes. Press the up arrow key to it points to MON and press the OK button once. We'll show you the M1.1 parameter, which is the parameter for the drive's frequency and pressing OK simply stops the flashing from occurring. I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much.